going to do this? My name is the team. Welcome back to Pokemon's Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I don't know what I almost said. I think it's almost said Sacred Gold. Anyways, in the last episode, we made it here to Konekone City and we beat the Grass Trial. And yeah, so we're going to probably be taking on Kahuna Olivia today. And as you saw by that little bit, excuse me, um, I did the two Vulpix events. So I basically went back on two consecutive day on a couple consecutive days and, uh, I'm supposing that we get to keep that that Vulpix at some point. So anyways, as you saw, we did have an evolution. So I ended up sending uh, Samba over to um, over to my actual moon game, and I evolved it. I taught it uh, Energy Ball, so pretty cool stuff, because I would have taught it Energy Ball anyway when we got it on this game. So pretty cool stuff. And yeah, it's got the Grass Z. I found the Eevee Light, because it's literally just through the, through the gates at the end of... Uh, the town here and I just picked it up because I completely forgot it was there and I was running around and I forgot I wasn't recording and anyway point being I found the Eevee light I gave it to it and then I'm like you know what since I decided to send Pikachu here over and maximize its special attack then why not just bring over a little again too and whatnot so pretty cool stuff uh, yeah that's basically what happened I don't really know what other stats I'm gonna put in for Pikachu um, I might see if I can buy, like, a... So there's a hair in my mouth. If, I, if we have something else that I could use. I have an HP up, so we'll use that. Why not? Might as well. Maximize all his EVs. So, pretty cool stuff. We still have a Rick Handy here. And, uh, I don't know how close... I'll use it on Absol, actually, if he is not close to, uh, t 26. And let's see how close you are. Yeah, sure. There we go. Cool. No big deal. Alrighty. So we're going to go into Olivia's shop now. Actually, before we do that, I want to show you I found another Ditto. So I went over here. I was just running around the city and I wanted to figure out who was Ditto. And if you answer the bottom one, then it's you leave the dude alone. So, so yeah, it's a Ditto. Pretty cool stuff. Um... The other, the first Ditto we caught had a perfect defense stat, IV. I brought that over to check it, because I don't have that in this game yet. I mean, because I haven't made it to Pony Island and got 20 eggs bred. It also has to be post-game, so, you know. You know, I'm surprised. And it didn't get to transform. Oh yeah! Okay, it's not, I don't know, I still don't know if the Dust Ball works because it's moon and being nighttime, or if it actually works based on the, 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 day, the day's clock, so... Anyway, um, let's just throw an Ultra Ball at you. wonder when I'll get a crit capture, because I do have plenty of Pokemon now. Uh, mainly because I brought so many over from my old game. God dang it, now it's going to transform into me. And mainly because I need to send in something that's not going to take a lot of damage from its attacks. Java, because he's strong against both uh, the fairy and bug type moves it has. Okay, let's check the speed stats compared, uh, Java, Java's 52, okay, I will outspeed this thing, so that's good, because I want to kill it, because I'm not going to let Java die and get no XP from that, so, wow, he even got nearly half of the experience he needs to level up, but anyways, we took down another ditto, and he the dude's disguised as chef. Here he comes. Oh no, I'm late, I'm late. I made so much yummy food got stuck in the door. For some reason, the restaurant is running. Was it someone cooking? Yep, it was a ditto. I didn't find any more. He said there was five. I'm assuming there's going to be one in Olivia's shop. Because that would make sense. I'm going to go get my money, though. I spent a lot of money on stuff. I don't remember what I spent all the money on, but it was a lot of money. TMs, that's what it was. I bought, like, all but one of the TMs, I think. What is this guy's a chef in the restaurant? No flavors are different. Ditto was cooking. Thanks you for the ditto. 20k. Oh my goodness. Alright, so now that's three of them down. So we just need to find two more ditto. Because he said there was five of them. And one of them was taking the place of the police officer. So there's two more to find. Anyway, let's go into Libby's shop now. And get this over with. I'm assuming one of these random people is going to get turned into a ditto. At some point. There! I found it! I went and it's the Loma Massage Girl. 
I'm not even gonna worry about catching it. Alright, Hayden won the speed tie, so we're good. Sweet! Another down. It's funny, because it said he had 1444 to go to level up. I guess we are just short. Hmm, strange. People in town are raving about the massage, so they feel like they're melting. I was closed for a while. Strange. Well, you weren't closed very long, I can tell you that much. Because I literally talked to you after I was talking to all the TM dude. Alright, so I'm guessing he's going to give me, like, what? 22,000? <laughs> it gave me such stiffness, it would just melt away too. Thank you for dealing with that. Here's this 24k. Ooh. Alright, and there's one more, and it's gotta. I, I was gonna say it's gotta be in Olivia's house, but that's not necessarily true. We'll figure it out. I'll go talk to everybody after this, because that'll be the last dude, and I wonder if you get anything special for finding all of these dittos. Oh, this is a happiness checker person. Um, I mean, I suppose I should check Judy. Judy's like the max happiness. It's got returned too. So. I'll have a look in your lap and eat. My it feels incredibly close to you. Nothing makes it happier than being with you. That's good. Because I absolutely adore my Lopany. Anyway, the Propath is going to greet us and he's going to go get us a Hyper Potion. You take a look and read it. Oh, I skipped that. Anyway, she said, this is my Propath and something. And that something came up and we'll meet her at the, the ruins. I'm, be I'm pretty positive her message didn't change. It was up for enough time that my recording will have picked it up, so... If it's important, I will put the screen cap of it up. So. Thanks, Purple Pass. Oh, he wants to see a Diancy. I had a Diancy at one point. I wonder if I still do. There you go. Now, now you can buy all of them. Um, well, you can buy the set that comes with Ultra Moon. You get the others, but at least you can buy all of them instead of just two, which is really weird. I don't know if you unlock them after doing specific things. You never know when they'll sell out of stock, but that's really nice again for a Wonderlock. This is going to be so fun to Wonderlock. I'm so excited for this. Super okay, so I'm going to end up buying another Waterstone, mainly because I used one on an EV I got in a Wonder Trade so I can get Vaporeon on my decks. I won't do a Leaf Stone just because. Oh, that's why I can't use it. My is it because I have a hat on? I don't want to, I mean, it's not that expensive, so it wouldn't be that big of a deal if I spent the money on it, but it's all good. It's all good. That's like 17 bucks or something like that. It's not 170, is it? Actually, I think it's a 100 yen per dollar. Is there a sticker? There's a sticker. Pokemon Pop Psychology Quiz. You're exhausted at the end of the day and you swim down in bed and sleep when a supplement Pukumuku flops up to you. What do you do? So it's time to clean. It's, if you chose the side, it's time to clean. Seems you type can take care of problems without delay. You're quick to resolve any situation. All you ever try to do is be as efficient as humanly possible. Sort of. It might be easy for others to mistake you for being cold. Yeah, that would make sense. There's more life and efficiency. Try to see beyond the arch to simply fix things quick. But when a school pattern closed, maybe lucky. Alright, we'll have to check. Hello, little stuff old. You're so cute. I mean, I guess I'll have to... Something's gonna be important with the skull outfit. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Why are you like the cutest Pokemon ever? I legitimately wish that I didn't use a Stuffle in Moon. Or in Ultra, in Ultra in Sun. So I didn't... You know. So I could use one. So god I love Stuffles so much. It's one of my favorite mons in this gen. I'm surprised there's not a sticker down here in Olivia's shop. It makes sense there's one in a room, though. Okay, I'm gonna go basically check everywhere again. See if maybe there's another person in here. There's some things I don't like, and that's... Um... Random rooms in RPGs that literally have no purpose whatsoever. They're just there. What? Why is Olivia here? What are you- Okay, yeah, oh yeah, I talked to her and I declined her favor because I didn't want to- I wasn't recording when I found it. No, thank you, I'm so glad. I'm a muy excelente hairstylist, you see, but I came to Lola and I heard this room I can't help wondering about this, right? 
heard there was Pokemon below this beautiful curly hair. What is it? I'm gonna check my poke. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna check my Pokedex and see if I've seen one because you have to catch one. That's not Sirene. I don't think Sirene. <laughs> Haven't called it that since I freaking found the thing. I wonder if she means like Whimsicott. I don't know. It's a very interesting Pokemon to ask for, though. See, literally, Jolteon's the only one I'm missing now, so if I get another Eevee, I can use a Thunderstone on it. wonder if it could be Serena, too. I don't know. Anyway, I think I'm done looking for now. We'll figure it out when the time comes. I have a feeling this is the Ditto. Yeah. That kind of only makes sense. Is it gonna have... Nope, it actually has Olivia's face. I was expecting to have the Ditto face. I mean, of course Olivia's not here, because I know she's at the trial site, so that's like... I'm like, why is Olivia here? I was thinking about it when I actually went over to get my coffee, which I just brewed some, because I love coffee. So, I was just like, hmm... Hey, this time it outsped me, but it wasn't smart. And now I actually don't use either Play Rough or Mega Horn. I, I win the speed tie, so who cares? That's funny, that's the only speed tie against these Dittos I've lost, so that's pretty nice. And Hayden Gross level 27. Very nice. There we go. That is all the Dittos. Hey dude, I found your last Ditto. It's actually, I'm guessing it seems actually Ditto. Not Olivia watching behind when it's in the scene, but certainly that was Olivia. Thank you for dealing with the Ditto, here's the reward. 28k. Thank you. One more gift for solving the cases. A focus band. Alright, that's my second one, because I got one on one, some Pokemon I got on a Wonder Trade. Or something. Well, I must take care of the entire Ditto fine. Thanks so much for cooperation. Ditto act weird and can't talk, so now we can tell disguised Ditto is from humans. But if Ditto can fully understand humans, minds appeared. Maybe. People knew you have been swept with Ditto without you knowing. <laughs> well, yeah. That's what happened to you. He was paranoid his partner was a Ditto again. Made me a little paranoid, too. Anyway, I'm gonna go heal up and we'll go talk to Olivia. So we have a lot of battles, like, right in a row coming up here. Oh, I didn't even battle this dude. I forgot about him. A netball. Alright, I'm gonna put Pikachu out front for now. I don't want Lilligan to get too high leveled, because I don't even know what... I forgot. I swapped. Yeah. Anyway, whoops. Oh my gosh, stop it. I really wish I could just, like, click on the Pokemon and move them. I was gonna battle the dude. That was mainly really why I put Pikachu in front rather than anyone else. <laughs> I don't want Lilligan to get too overleveled, as I already mentioned. I didn't come over here? Okay, I thought I did. Whatever. Let's fight, dude. Chinchu. Great, well, time to see if this is Volt or Water Absorb. Actually, I don't need to. Never mind, I have Grass Knot. Pay Pikachu! And Chinchu goes down. It's kind of funny when you think about it, because Grass Knot is literally tied. A knot of grass so they get they trip up on it but like I don't know it's grass grass is easily breakable it's just kind of a weird thing to think about anyway goodbye Good job Pikachu I'm so proud of you buddy oh look at this this Corsal is happy to be here I decided to check Pokeville ago kind of on accident but um I needed to get a Corsola anyway because there's one dude who wanted to see a Corsola and couldn't catch one or something like that. So pretty cool stuff. I think he was over by Brooklet Hill, actually. You know, I forgot I had... Oh. Duh. That's why, because it's my... Uh, it's my... <laughs> uh, my League one. On the first time they went out, uh, my Pokemon did not find Sunstone. They didn't again. So, I'm really glad I decided to send them over to... Or send Lilligan over. Alrighty, yo. Oh, we are here in the Memoria Hill. So, Mighty Frame is a little arresting here. They want to be close to the top of Yeah, y'all can challenge me just by looking at over the grave, can't you? It's it's kind of cool. Dang it, I was almost there. People in grave sleeping forever, right? Yes, it's called dying, my dude. Kind of like sleep, except sleeping doesn't help their body regenerate. And the magma goes down. Took two Thunderbolts, which I'm quite surprised with, even after I'm ma with max special attack. 
Its EVs weren't perfect, actually. I think its speed might have been. Its attack stat was a little bit higher than its special attack, though, which I didn't remember. I thought they had it was perfect, but maybe I just was getting tired of uh, soft resetting. I didn't do too many soft resets for it, though. Oh, the cleanse tag. I think I just heard an air on. An adrenaline orb. And I thought I have a little grander... Grand... I don't even know. Hey, you have that Jolteon I need. <laughs> Care to trade? Ha! <laughs> you use Thunder Fang, and I dodge. But I hit you with Fire Fang. And get a crit. Just kind of hoping for the burn, so I could have just rubbed it in a bit more. Full Restore. Okay. Sure, let's see how much this Fire Pledge does. Alright, I think you're at the point where your physical attack stat is stronger. Which I know in the end is the winning stat anyway, but I just don't... I don't know Tarkat's spread, so... And, and like, and play through. There's no real... I don't know. Super meta, I guess. Super meta? Real meta is what I kind of meant to say, but whatever. Super meta. A super repel on the on the gravestone. Damn it! Pokemon's Fink is fitting with the grave. Oh my gosh! Is that a new Furfru? Because I don't feel like I knew that one. Oh my gosh! I'm minus two attack, and then you full restore. You're a butt. Hate you. Freeze the Furfru. So I don't know if Mega Stones actually uh, we can use them or not. But, not gonna lie, I have a Lopinite now. I believe that's actually the only Pokemon that I have that can learn a... Or it can be a Mega. I think Quick Attack will kill it. Yeah. Even with that Fur Coat ability. Alright, next up is a Comfy. So let's... Nope. Let's send back in Bubbles. Oh, you know what? Thank you for the crit, Bubbles. Perfect timing. Sweet. Is it, is it ghost type after all? Okay. I mean, I feel like ghost types are ghosts for a reason. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Ah. I guess we can see what's here now. See if my Aeron prediction was correct. Because I feel like I heard it. It might have been that. Might have heard the phantom. You know, if only I had something useful to get rid of for, like, Brutal Swing on Lopany, so I had something to touch ghosts. Because it literally can't do anything to ghosts. So. I mean, four move slot syndrome. I really like setting up with work up. But that may end up what having the, may end up what has to go. Because, like, if I run into something... A ghost had that a shadow tag or something like that. Like Gengar. For example. Even after min at minus two speed, Judy still outspeeds the Aridos. Get wrecked. That's a beautiful... You're the calm, cool, and collected type, aren't you? Pretty much. Did I say Gengar having Shadow Tag? Mega Gengar is what I meant to say. Which, I mean, running into a Mega Gengar won't be typically an issue. Is there actually even a Ghost type with Shadow Tag? Besides Mega Gengar? Because obviously I know Gothitelle and Wobbuffet and the Gothitelle and Wobbuffet line do. I mean, maybe not even the Gothitelle line. Maybe it's just... Whatever. Why are we continuing to search Frisk? I don't want to find Frisk. It's funny because everything else but Shadow Tag showed up under Shadow Tag. That was really weird. Okay. Point is, I just want to see if there's any ghosts. The only ghost Pokemon with Shadow Tag is Mega Gengar, so never mind. We don't have to worry about that. Everything else is psychic, so meaning I can actually hit it. And that was my main concern. Oh, you know what? I kind of expect there to be someone different than Fava. <laughs> okay, Hyper Potion. Very worth. Throwback there. Team Skull, to give back that Pokemon. <laughs> Don't give me trouble, reduce you to rubble. That's right, we're going to sell this Pokemon, get rich, we make no bones about it. Go back, you don't have to take it. No. Stand firm, think of what the president would say. As you say, Chief, but you don't lift a finger. 
Why am the Aether Foundation's last sign of defense? What become of the Foundation is happen to me now? Ah, uh, he was a promising young trainer. Fight my sad child and rat these teams called ruffians. I will bestow honor upon you if you do. Why should I be forced to fight them? You ready? Because I was born ready, yo. I should have just turned and walked away. Let Fabo deal with his own problems. Wait, wait, wait. Fabricate's gonna get obliterated by this jump kick. Sorry, buddy. You're absolutely goddamn adorable, but you're gone. No chance. Peace, nerd. Yo, you're no joke. I mean, I had a Lopany with a four times super active move. It's a Lopany. Yeah. Hello, pathetic. Your move is so kinetic. We don't need this Pokemon. Take it. Good luck and good riddance. Phew. No. Thanks, kid. Yes, indeed. Your trial go on. She is a splendid trainer. I'm, I'm deeply impressed. I'd like to reward you by showing something truly stunning. Finish it. Come, you see a wondrous place. Thank you for helping us out. I really owe you. Will you heal me up? Ah, uh, now I gotta fight Boomeria before they heal me. Uh. If we still fight, if we still have to fight Plumeria. Oh, sweet! There's another death ball over here. All right, really quick before we get over, before I cut over to Olivia, let me know if you would like me to replace my starter by using a Salazzle, which is a poison fire type, which is a dope typing. But obviously, that'd be demoting our starters. So just let me know, or let me know what you'd like me to add. Because, I mean, I'd be willing to drop Absol for uh, a new typing. This one's Leech Life, isn't it? There we go. I was kind of close. It was just a little bit later on Akala Island. Ooh! A Chinchu. That's pretty neat. I'm going to catch it for Pokedex completion. Sweet. Oh, I didn't even have a lantern. I know I trained one up. Maybe that was in Sun, or maybe I ended up wonder trading it. A fish one, I think I can catch them. I battle one, I think I could win. We'll see about that. My entire team is probably a higher level than your Pokemon. And it's a Wishy Washy. Wishy Washy is a pretty pathetic Pokemon, in all honesty. Damn it. Good morning, morning for sure. I guess it technically is morning in the game. Be like 10 a.m. Oh no, a Crabrawler. I have faith in you, Judy. I ain't swapping you out. Let's break this breakneck blitz this thing into oblivion. Booyah. Right, nothing over here. I'm, I kind of want to see what this is, because I know there's an item here, because I know you, ha you can get on Stoutland and find one. Do you, do you have to be on Stoutland to actually find it? Tora Cat can learn Leech Life. What? Well, I was trying to replicate what I just did where somehow my character, like, stumbled like it was going to fall. See the one Gladney was talking about? <laughs> you look anything special to me. I'm Plumeria. I keep, help keep Team Skull together. I'm a big sister all these numb skulls. You have realized what idiots these guys are, right? But I just think their dummies are cute and their dumbness, you know what I mean, right? You're picking on my cute dumb brother and sister really annoying me. Same line. Like, there's... Why didn't they change that much? It's just frustrating, man. The school bot's actually fast. And I hit myself. Of course I do. Wouldn't you know it. I wanted to search Golbat, not Holst, whatever the fuck that is. I typed in Golbat, and it brought up... <laughs> it sent me to Brock's page, like, what the hell? That doesn't even make any sense. Judy Grid level 28. Next up is that Salandit. And Salandit outspeeds my Pikachu. How? You're level 27, I'm a level 26 max speed Pikachu. That's some BS if I've ever seen it. Oh my god, I don't care about locations. I just wanted to see its stats. Base 90 speed. All that stupid looking for a pointless thing. Doesn't matter. Goodbye. 
I was a level above it, too. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> You're pretty strong. Give me that. Miss it anyway. Anyway, Team Skull, show us serious I can get. Show up, Plumeria. So I want to check this out. Pikachu's right now at one affection heart. Which, I mean, to me, doesn't make... Oh. Okay. Can't do anything with it. Just go straight back in the Pokeball. Makes sense. Anyway, I know uh, Lily's going to heal us up before we fight Olivia. So, actually... Uh, in case they don't give me a chance to do anything after being healed, I'm gonna put Samba up front because I want to use Samba for this this fight. One of the reasons I evolved her when I did. Olivia, I don't care, Professor Burnett. Master Al, what do you think it looks like under the mask anyway? Oh man, Burnett's dumb. Thank you. Lil against one of the few that didn't take any damage or use any moves. Now try to drag me along to ruins conflict. What are these ruins important to me? What do they mean to you? I'm dead inside. Okay. Hey, Lilia. I <laughs> Legitimately, I called her Lilia. Hi, Olivia. Thanks for getting to know the people of Pokemon and Alola or whatever the hell you said. Let's just, let's just fight. Let's do it. No more jibber jabber. I know exactly what you say and I don't care. Let's do this shit. Fight me. Boom, boom. Anorith, that's different. Oh, you've got Bug Bite. Okay, so depending on how much this Giga Drain does. Alright, I'm gonna stay in. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't expect it to do that much to Samba. Okay. Well, give me a decent bit of health back. I don't know what you're gonna send in next. Next up is a Lily. Makes a lot of sense, actually. Anorith, Lily, and Lycanroc. What did she have last time? No, I know she had Nose Pass in Lycanroc. I don't remember what her third Pokemon was. It might have been Bulldor. I feel like it was a Bulldor. I don't know why. Hey, we dodged two in a row. Very nice. Let's go for an energy ball because screw it. Fucking damn it, Olivia. Energy ball will do more though because it's a higher power move. And you got the crit. That helps. I don't know if Giga Drain's enough, but I think Energy Ball should be. And there goes Lily. Sweet. Next up is that Lycanroc. I should outspeed it. Because Lycanroc Midnight is the slow one. Can I put you to sleep? You out... Okay, you outspeed me. Vital Spirit? What kind of crap is that? Come on, Samba. Some of the she couldn't move. Mm, yeah, that makes a little sense. Dude. Oh, uh, could you dodge another for me, Samba? That'd be amazing, because I'd like to get off the Bloom Doom. Kick this thing's ass. Alright, there goes Continental Crush. That's gonna be it. <laughs> That's gonna knock out my, my little leap. Fucking dick. How does it outspeed me, though? How slow is Lilligan? I know Bubbles can survive a hit. Even a Rock Tomb. Lilligan's base 90, and I know Lycanroc's base 85. I guess it was two levels higher than me, but still. Or at least this Lycanroc is base 85. Let's go for the Hydro Vortex, then. Don't flinch. Don't flinch. Thank you. Okay, you're gone. At least I hope. And there you go. Peace, nerd.
Okay. Bubbles gained 1800 XP or something like that. How lovely. It's like 1180, more more so. Diamond's only sparkle of coal is pushed to the absolute limit. Now you guys are the best. Rock time Z Crystal, Rocky Z is all yours. Do 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 do. Don't. It's number five. I think there's eleven total. You get given um, from actual trials, or you earn from trials. <sighs> rock time Z five to use this to rock and a hit hit movement is crucial. Of course it is. Use it well, rock type, hard, sturdy, rugged, physically strong, completely opposite to me. <gasps> okay. Oh, you're from Kahuna El. Uh, ah, you're Kahuna Libya. I don't know how that's supposed to be pronounced. Oh, I am Hal from Mickey Town. You gotta let me battle you. <laughs> oh, hey, Lilia. Guess what? Weird green guy from Aether told totally to come whatever crazy, right? Of course, they set it up so we'd each be lured. Have fun, Lily. And how, I don't care. Is there anything interesting gonna happen? Is it just the same? It's the same bullshit. Like, what's the fucking point? Of course, you didn't heal my team at all. Real helpful you are, Lily, Olivia and Lily. Y'all suck. Okay, Rotom, you said the same thing twice. I don't care. Is the Corsola dude here? He was. Okay. Caught the Corsola. More or less caught it. It came to my Poke Pelago. I wonder what level it's gonna be. Okay, it was only level 14, which makes sense. So, kid, wedding's about to start. I want you to celebrate with us. Thank you, it starts now. Who's wedding? Did they come to the bride and the groom? Is it kids? Oh, it's Pikachu. Aww. Here comes the bride all dressed in white. <laughs> Pika, Pika! Pikanti! What? Squeak, so beautiful, right, honey? Pika me, sob. Always nice to be each other while you may kiss the bride. Pika! Pika! Choo! Don't they rub their cheeks together? And they make the electricity? Congratulations, yeah, that was perfect! That's cute. <laughs> yeah, that was a play wedding, it was fun, right? Here's your wedding favor. Thanks for celebrating with us. Oh, thank you! You're welcome. Yeah, the Pelipper is flying. I want to get carried around in Pelipper's beak. No, you really don't. Is that Meredith? <laughs> you are you're the famous Star Chewster. Pikachu. I don't think the Pikachu knows the difference. You've come out so name of the best of success. You released film. I miss you in a little trail. You spending time with what he brought to Alola. It's a Pikachu. It can't answer you. I must ask you to respect Massachusetts privacy and let him vacation in peace. He will not be taking interviews at this time. When everyone's done to know more about the Chooser's privacy, get a spill. It's a Pikachu! Chew. Step in. Just let the... It's a little Pikachu. Just leave it be. You want to interview too? This is my scoop. I'm not letting you have it. Okay, I'll battle you. Sure. I don't want your scoop. I want you to leave the Pikachu alone. It's a Pikachu. It literally cannot answer you. What are you doing in private lights? Well, it's obviously sitting in a chair. You know what's funny? Is that makes a lot of sense you'd have a Miltank. Miltank's like one of the most annoying Pokemon on the face of this earth. I hate it. So, kind of funny. Now, let's use Bloom Doom. This will be my first time actually getting to use Bloom Doom, because it... This stupid freaking Lycanroc killed my song before it could use it against the Lycanroc. Bloom Doom. I love the green they used in that text. It's like my favorite color green, that beautiful emerald. And this is like still my favorite Z move. One of my favorite Z moves because of how pretty it is. Wow, I didn't actually expect it to one shot. Samba crit, that's why. Thank you, Samba. You're the bomb. Get wrecked, no thank. How much XP is that? A, a hundred, or a thousand. Oh, can I still have the scoop? It's a Pikachu! Leave it alone! Jeez, 
Wow, but the freedom of the press! There is freedom of the press. It's a Pikachu, leave it alone. Thank you for helping us out of that rather sticky situation. Cute! Let's see another juice results appreciative of your assistance. Cute! What are you sure, sis, if you insist? Sir Master Juicer for you. That makes sense. I I don't know. I is that for Volt Tackle? Please use it wisely. Choo 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 choo! Oh, that's it. That's a Pikachu Z pose. Love is sir, just exquisite. I don't know the 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 pose. I don't think I saw what he did. He just looked like he jumped up and down to me. All right. Well. Thanks, guys. Have fun on your vacation. Yeah, it is Vol Tackle. That's what I thought. The dude on a stout one's just gone, too. Room out of season. Consider of deep. Use my warning. Yellow five people swim in water trainers. Yep, I'll battle them if I feel like it. I might do the ch Pukamuku chucking again, because it gets you a cool 20 grand. Oh, that's helpful. Glistening sweat. Slippery goo. The perfect team. Pukamuku checkers are definitely needed. I thought for a minute that was a shiny Pukamuku. Mainly because it was sitting in the green. And if you don't know, Shiny Pukamuku is green and it's got uh, orange spikes. So it's kind of an ugly shiny. I mean, the green's pretty, but green and orange just aren't a great combination. It makes charge fruits. Okay, there should be one more. I don't remember where he is. Guess he might be at the far end of the beach on the other side. Okay, you're not a wild sandy guess, I was wondering. Good job, you got every last Pukamuku, you're a real good worker. Here's your pay. Thanks. I'm now, like, stacked, man. You can do that once daily, I'm pretty sure. That's an e a pretty decent way to make money if you need it. So, here, why don't you take this? Okay, thanks. Why? What would you rather have a soda pop or a soda drink? Oh yeah, I forgot. You can I change positions? Well, I'd like you to move. You're on a sticker, my boy. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, little buddy. Have a nice day. Okay, these are probably... You know what? I'd actually like to use a Sandagast. So if we encounter one instead of a Star U, I'll catch it. Hey, there he is. So this is probably what I'll replace Absol with. Man, I keep encountering female Pokemon. Like, that's not an issue, but my entire team is, like, female. <laughs> I'm gonna name it Myrtle. I remember I caught one. I think it was in my original playthrough. And I said Myrtle's kind of a female name, but I want to name it Myrtle because for lack of a better name. And I believe that Sandy Gas was male, so. Cool stuff. I don't even know if I ever had a pal of sand in my in Moon. As much as I love Absol, as soon as we get Uh, I don't know. I may end up just dropping him earlier, cause I mean he could be helpful in the ghost trial. So we'll see. But by the time we get to that. I think I will have uh, an Incineroar, so probably not, won't need to worry that much. Is that a Soft Sand? Oh, it's a Spell Tag. Okay. Soft Sand would have made a bit more sense, but no biggie. I don't mind. No! Uh, stupid tentacle. Mr. Shiny, leave me alone. It's a Pearl String. That's not bad. I think it's like 15,000. So you think about how many, how much does the Pearl sell for? It sells for like 1,000. So it's like 15 pearls on a string. Let's fight because I'm bored. Wanna help me pass the time? <laughs> I think we'll probably do the Aether stuff in the next episode, so I'll probably just finish up here at the beach. I'm on the episode. Power Power! Don't hurt one of the worst Pokemon ever! It's also one of the most annoying. Hmm, I see you got drizzle now, do ya? Holy crap. Samba, you are goddamn good. Look at that. That was one energy ball. Spills Pelipper is not the bulkiest Pokemon in the world, but it's obviously not a super effective hit, so. Good job, Samba. Proud of you. Nuh uh. Nuh uh, what? 
There's a little island up here. What's this? The black glasses. Not bad. I like the scope lens for my episode right now anyway. I think there's like another item you can get here. But I don't really care. I'm attack I'll attack you in my bold attack you boldly in my bold bikini. Goldeen. Okay. Sorry, Goldeen. You're just gonna get absolutely demolished. And goodbye, Star You. I like how Star You and Star Me just fall over. It'd be kinda cool if like they fell out like their uh couple of their limbs fell off and they just fell over then because I mean I say that but like if you don't know the context behind that it sounds like really demented but star uh starfish can regrow sea stars they can regrow their uh their spikes their pegs what the hell are they I mean I think they're just they're just referred to as legs they can regrow their legs yeah regenerate their legs that's probably the best explanation I can come up with and the get a good get a dosa goes down. Thank you for the crit, Samba. I wish I would have preferred that in the turn prior. You wouldn't have taken the extra thrash damage. But oh well. We're gonna learn quiver dance. Alright, that's a bit better than growth. <laughs> Sweet. I'm empty handed, but I do have the prize money to pay you. Yeah, that was one of the reasons I wanted to evolve it when I did. Uh, because it learned. It stopped learning useful moves. Uh, 26 Giga Drain was the last useful move for Petalil, so, you know. I was trying to see if my, I would end up in finding a whatever, but, you know, doesn't matter. Okay, what's up? Can you tell me how to choose a partner Pokemon? Which one specifically? I mean, they're just kind of Pokemon I wanted to use that are different and kind of out of the norm. Even for playthrough. I should ask you why you chose Pukumuku. Despite its cry and the Pokemon itself being adorable, it's pretty bad. I mean, it's good for the kind of stall player, but... Other than that, it's just kind of an irritating Pokemon. Especially because innards out. You use counter. Nice! Um, does he get Mirror Coat? It probably gets Mirror Coat. If he got counter, it makes sense. Oh, innards out hits you no matter what! Oh. Oh. Interesting. Alright, I have trouble studying my partners because there's so many criteria. What criteria got you to choose a Pukamuku? Let's see, do you have anything to say? Throw on the surface to ride Pokemon. That, okay, whatever. I think that's about it. I don't even think there's any more trainers. I just would like to check every inch of this. Get every item in battle every trainer. That's the first wild Pokemon I've encountered that hasn't been a tentacle. Or the tentacle to charge after me, I should say. So maybe I got a wonder trade? Oh, nope, I found another trainer. Sweet. Good wind, good waves, all above my good mood. Above all, not all above. Oh, wow. Basculin's fast. It outsped my Absol. And the crit. Alright, let's dodge again, Hayden. You're gonna use Soak. Okay. That's fine. Depending on your next Pokemon, I'll probably just use uh, Megahorn then. Because, <laughs> you know, Poliwhirl. Okay. Since I don't have Stab anymore on any of my moves, I'm going to just hit you with the hardest move I can. And a crit might kill you. How does your Poliwhirl outspeed my Hayden? That doesn't make any sense. Wabush. Goodbye. So I ended up looking up Scopeland and Superlock end up boosting your crit ratio by one stage each, which means I'm at times two crit ratio, but I don't know, because isn't a crit a one in eight chance, so it's technically a one in four chance, which means I am insanely lucky because I don't think Absol hasn't crit since I gave it the scope lens. Alright, pretty sure that's it, so... I believe I talked to everyone on the beach, too, so I'm gonna just fly back to the Pokemon Center. I can fly right here, too. There's a move tutor at the Hano Grand Resort? Maybe it's that the, the Pikachu's accompaniment that I didn't actually end up talking to, so. Anyways, guys, that's where I'm going to end this ep Oh my gosh, that's where I'm going to be ending this episode of Pokemon Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. Really hope you enjoyed the video, especially the next episode. We'll be going to the Aether Foundation and meeting Lusamine, and we'll be seeing the Ultra Wormhole again. 
wonder if it'll still be Mia Lego that we that we meet or what. So, anyways, pretty cool stuff. So thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to you. Later.